you know, there's a lot of conversation regarding why you should vote, who you should vote for. Uh, a lot of times people talk about the previous council this and the next council that. And they're all valid points. You know, I will 100% agree with that. That we all need to be cons- considerate of uh, where we are. But I don't, I don't think we're really understanding what's happening here. Is that generally there's a lot of discontent and a lot and many people who are disappointed with the way council's been run the last number of years. This should not be a reflection of the individuals. I, you know, if, if 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 you're saying this person A or B, you're dropping into a conversation about a person's values and you've reduced it to a polarized A or B situation. This person bad, that person good. That's not you. Know, that's not what you want anymore. And that's polarized politics. And it's just stupid. What we need to focus on is function and productivity. Like, and we're all creatures of habit. So it's my personal feeling that there's time for change. When I say time for change, I don't necessarily mean you have to overhaul, throw the baby out with the bathwater and whatnot. What I'm saying is that. There's obvious habit and a status quo that's been established. And because we're all creatures of habit, everyone that's sitting in council chambers or work for council, what may be happening is that they're just used to the way it's been without any real challenge. So at the end of all of this, no matter who you vote for, I really hope whoever sits in that council chamber after September 28th has a respectful view of the requirements of everyone in the town. I also challenge you and everyone else that when you vote to look at voting as if you were a general manager for a sports team. You are assembling a team. So in that team, you're going to need a variety of different people. You're going to want people with a lot of business knowledge. You're going to want somebody with some history and experience working with government levels. You're going to need that. You're also going to need people that are going to challenge those things and ask them to clarify on about every topic that they present or option that that they have. The last thing you want in a council is a group of people that are constantly in agreement. Because when you're constantly in agreement, uh, you become unaware of, or not even unaware of, more dismissive of the of the people that are being ignored or will feel ignored. You, know, you just believe you're right and you end up proceeding on as, as normal. So whatever you do, don't look at a, a collection of people and just say, hey, uh, they're all bad. No, they're not all bad they've actually dedicated their time and worked pretty hard. And yes, the optics of a lot of this is in question, but that needs to be addressed. And I don't think that's necessarily a direct mapping of a person's uh, values or their quality as a human being. That's just a reflection of the habits and the processes that are in place. And they need to change they need to be updated. They need to be new. They need to look at the, the discontent that's occurring correctly or incorrectly now and address it. Move forward with some sort of a strategy to say, holy smokes, we've done this wrong. This isn't effective. We need to change the way we do it. So whatever you do, vote with your head and some of your heart, probably about 80% head, 20% heart, if it comes down to a gut instinct, by by all means, use it. But a collection of people that are going to look out for the town and at the same time, a number of people that will bring different ideas to challenge those norms that have been set up for the last number of years. Regardless, on September 29th, things will be different. doesn't matter who's sitting there.